five things you did not know about retail commercial space. My name is Fadi Kudair. I'm a local realtor here with Sutton Group Ottawa. And for more tips and tricks about real estate, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow this channel, Canada on the Rocks. And hit the like if you do like what you see so we can get more and more videos about that and teach you about real estate. So the five things you did not know about retail real space. Retail, a lot of people have been saying retail is dead. It hasn't. Retail is not dead. It just shifted. What's been happening with retail lately is with the advent of things like drop shipment with Amazon and the likes of uh, Walmart online and all of the different big stores and doing sort of their delivery, retail had shifted to more of an entertainment base. So let's talk about that. The five types that we're going to talk about here are following. Number one, community retail centers. So those are anywhere around, you know, I'm going to say 100,000 to about 400,000 uh, square footage. Uh, and it's actually dispersed up among this area. Uh, think of uh, places like the Centrum, for example. You're going to have a big anchor store, uh, something like Walmart, something like Loblaws. And then with that, you're going to have all of those storefronts that are going to be delivering uh, goods and services, uh, some entertainment, maybe a, a bunch of restaurants, all within a certain area. And it serves its purpose. And the purpose is socializing and bringing more community into it. These ones offer plenty of parking and plenty of spaces for the, the shops, as well as, like I said, they serve that purpose of entertainment and bringing community closure. Number two, that's single tenanted properties. So those ones are very, very specific. Uh, they tend to be, you know, that sort of store like, I'm gonna say Starbucks or uh, potentially something like a McDonald's that are actually very close to one of those uh, community centers, uh, but they're not necessarily in the same plaza. And what they tend to do, they tend to actually get a lot of that traffic coming from the community centers, and they serve that purpose of just having that one location, one sort of, as, as the title says, one single tenant in that location that's going to be, uh, you know, allowing for uh, seems, uh, you know, a seamless parking in and out. Uh, and it's still, like I said earlier, collecting all of that traffic coming into the community centers. Number three, power centers. Those ones are a little bit different. They tend to have a little bit more space uh, and they always have one to two anchor stores, massive anchor stores. They tend to have a lot of uh, sort of distributed um, store front. Uh, they allow for a lot of parking. They've lately shifted uh, just because, again, of the advent of having places like Amazon drop shipment and things like that, uh, where the retail space is essentially shifting a little bit more towards entertainment, a little bit more towards the experience. Uh, which is something that you cannot replace. You just can't do that online. Number four, regional malls. So those ones tend to be a little bit bigger, 400,000 square foot and above. Uh, and they tend to have, uh, to tend to attract a local area, local uh, folks shopping around, coming into the uh, the centers. They're always going to have at least one to two, maybe more uh, department stores that, that are serving multiple different lines of business. You know, I'll give you an example, Bayshore, and having something like the Bay in Bayshore or having something like uh, back in the day, uh, Zellers or, you know, something like Sears. Some of these stores don't exist, but just to, you know, get the gist of it, it's really more of a massive outlet that's going to have uh, a department store that's going to be serving a, a multiple purpose. And these stores tend to have a lot of uh, high class fashion, uh, you know, things like your Zara, things like uh, stores like uh, H&M big stores, big chain stores coming in, and also other little retailers. Uh, and it offers a lot of entertainment and restaurant. And a lot of the times you'll find also the local uh, sort of food court in. Uh, so they tend to have a ton of ease of environment as far as uh, getting in and getting out, lots of parking, uh, lots of security. They tend to also throw in a lot of sort of events and, and host a lot of, uh, you know, marketing and what have you to bring people into those uh, centers. Number five, the last one is small plazas. These ones tend to be, you know, on the little uh, suburbs. They tend to have small little, you know, convenience store, something like a Quickie or a Max Milk or what have you, uh, with uh, a few other retailers in there. Uh, sometimes maybe your local doctor's office, sometimes it's just a small little uh, uh, physiotherapist and what have you. And they really tend to serve a very little clientele, very small sort of uh, footprint. Uh, and they'd have enough parking to serve that community. The one thing that you'll notice about that type is a lot of the times they might not have enough parking for everybody, uh, or if they do, it might be very, very uh, limited as far as, you know, two to three spots per store. With that being said, for anything commercial, for anything real estate, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. My name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Sutton Group Ottawa. 
And for more videos like that, don't forget to hit the like and we'll see you soon.